If you like what you see, why don't you think about subscribing? And make sure to check out my channel for videos just like this. What's going on people? It's your boy Mr. Bucket List here. Once again we have another one of these Everything On Location videos. This time at Villa Botanica and Mountaintop in St. Thomas. Let's check it out. Alright, so there will be timestamps in this video, of course, if you all want to jump to the different section of the video, like for example, if you want to go from the Villa Botanical section over to the mountaintop section, you can easily do that, it'll be in the timestamps. Um, secondly, this is a Royal Caribbean excursion, so if you're curious about this excursion or you know people that are curious about it in general, please share this video, like this video, give a comment so people can actually see it. Um, lastly, I do want to say this, there was a lot more commentary in this video than I'm actually cutting out. And the reason why is because I was actually drinking. I don't know why, but I decided to drink early in the morning as soon as we got here. Didn't realize I would be walking through like ladders and steps and stuff like that in large hills. And so a lot of drinking, a lot of complaining, and a lot of me just rambling on. So I had to cut that portion out and just kind of leave me just kind of strolling along. So again, I hope you all enjoy this video and I'll see you soon. <laughs> All right, y'all. So welcome to Villa Botanica. I'm gonna give you all a almost a full tour. It's a lot of walking. I just finished drinking, so we'll see how it goes. But this is it. Thank you for visiting. So a little bit about the history. In the 1780s, this property was a uh, sugarcane and cotton plantation. Back then it was 200 acres. Went up over this mountain down on the south side where your ship is and down into this valley. Thank goodness today we only have five and a half acres. <laughs> As it is a year, year round thing with, with the gardening and keeping everything up. Um, also, we discovered in the 1800s uh, that this property was in fact a botanical garden belonging to the Danish Agricultural Society as back in those days, the Virgin Islands belonged to Denmark. So that was pretty cool to discover when so many years later we had the vision to turn it into a garden. Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about some bush tea, local bush teas, and then you'll all have a chance to try it for those of you uh, that would like to try it. It is a warm tea, not a nice tea. It's called Inclination Bush. It has a bright yellow flower, but these are old. Uh, sandpaper leaf, we use this for inflammation. So another really, really good one.
on Taurus like this, I qualify. I mean, what, my lord. <sighs> they might as well just consider me partially handicapped because I am just done. Look at this view. All right, folks, I made it. I made it to the top of the mountain in the Virgin Islands. As you can see, this view is beautiful. And this is only part one of the trip. It's so peaceful, so serene up here. And even on the other side, if you come over here, look at that. Look at the ocean. It looks like the sky, but it's literally just the ocean that goes miles from and miles. So it's been a great trip. I'm really enjoying it. Let's get it. Cool. So it's extremely easy to get lost here, man. All right, so I am going through this like, I'm not sure how to explain it. It's like a, almost a maze, like in the jungle. Um, but it's cool. It's really cool, it's really unique. Um, it reminds me of something you can see in Florida, but like, look at this, for example. So you can go this way, you can go that way, and then it's just, it's all over the place. So I'm gonna go this way because I'm tired of doing steps right now. Oh, it's animals. Of course. Okay. So some peacocks. Okay, so I am gonna hit the stairs. 
Now, when they said this toy wasn't available for people in wheelchairs, um, now I understand why. Because there's so many dang steps. So it seems like everybody's just as lost as I am. Um, hope we all make it back to the bus. So I can hear some water running. So we have made it to the mountaintop with the world famous daiquiri. Banana daiquiri at that. Let's do it. Alright, so I had to go ahead and cut the sound out because of YouTube and copyrighted music and all that crap. Um, but what's going on here is this is actually the, the gift shop for the mountaintop area. Um, it's free entrance, so you just kind of walk in, you do whatever, you leave. Um, this is where the actual famous daiquiri is at, as you all saw when I was walking in. Now, of course, I didn't try it here because I tried the other place and I was just tired of drinking. Um, but if you do this excursion, please wait until you get here to try your daiquiri. So we made it to the top of the mountain here. It's your boy, Mr. Buckless. I am loving it right now. Such a beautiful sight. At the low top is the gentleman that used to own the island. Who the federal government allowed him to get it. Yeah, yeah, all right so if you made it to this portion of the video thank you um i do plan to do more at this actual port as far as like videos i have coming up 
if the video does well, if it doesn't do well, then I'm just gonna just not waste my time and do something else. But again, I thank you all for making it to this part of the video and I'll see you soon. Peace out. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, please check out my channel for more videos just like this. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you next time. Peace.